Hey, this is Rich over at TVP Live with another Quick Tips Tutorials brought to you by Photoshop Elements Custom Tutorials Group. And let's jump right in with today's poster who wants to know how to remove a person out of a photo. Now, when you got a group photo like this, there's a couple things that you have to consider is one, what is that person touching that might be in the way? I can see the bride's veil that comes down here goes behind his jacket so that's something we have to recreate but more importantly it's going to be this barn that's in the back here we're going to have to recreate that as well as the grass and these plants back here that shouldn't be too hard using the clone stamp tool over here so let's go ahead and first start by recreating the portions of the veil that we want to keep then we'll cut out her whole side over here to keep that all safe while we use the clone stamp tool to stamp everything else out so let's start by erasing the edge of the bride that we want to keep. So we want to keep this whole edge over to the right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this photo so that we can use the left portion later on. And now it doesn't matter if we get rid of the left portion. I'm going to go from the top of the photo to here. I'm going to come in close and make the brush using an eraser and I'm using a soft brush and make it a small like 10 point or so to simply erase along the edge keeping what we want to keep. Once we get down into the grass here I can make the brush edge a lot bigger so that the melding of this portion with the rest is going to be a lot easier. Then we grab the polygon and what we want to do is get rid of the whole left side over here. We'll come in like this and basically just trace in between where we erased and the rest of the photo. Once we get to the bottom here, I'll come across to here, come back up here, and I'll just double click. That'll close the polygon, leaving us the marching ants. And as soon as we hit delete, boom, we got rid of the whole left side of the photo, leaving the edge that we wanted to keep. Now we're going to turn the background back on, which actually brings this guy back. Now we can use the clone stamp tool and try to stamp a lot of this stuff out. And if it bleeds over to this edge, it'll, the bleed will be completely underneath that top portion. You won't see it. Now with this window, we probably want to recreate it because there is a frame here. There's no way that we can stamp this frame. So let's go ahead and grab, starting from here to here. I'm going to try to cut him out sort of like this. I'm going to right click and hit copy. Now we can take that image and I'm going to duplicate it by holding the alt button and left click and it makes a duplicate and that way we can have enough to use for the bottom now let's take this one and turn it around by going to image rotate horizontal and now you see it just completely rotated it horizontal now what we want to do is give it the right angle that this is in the background how can we see it when it's solid let's go ahead and come over here and make it 50 percent opacity i'll change the 100 to 50 and you see what happened over here now we can see through right through it i'm going to put the edge where it's supposed to be and now we need to distort the whole image to fit the old one so i'm going to go up here to image transform and distort and now watch what happens when i grab each edge i can bring them in or out to match the original look at that can't even tell that this was distorted once i have it where i like it i hit ok and i can bring back that from 50 to 100 and look at that it looks like it was the original window so now what I want to do is fill some of this in. And since these are kind of congruent in the same, I can take the smudge brush tool and let's make it, oh, I don't know, about 50% soft brush here. And I can start up here and just drag it down with the shift. I'll, I'll click here. I'll come down here, hold shift and click it. And it just brings everything down and smudges the window down. That, the wood, that is. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're not going to be able to tell anyone. Now let's go ahead and grab this portion here and we want to flip it around. We could just do it manually like this with that little circle here and bring it close to the corner 
that we wanted to match it up here and it may not matter but I'm going to go ahead and make it per, make it pretty close how do we know that's in the right place once again the opacity up here bring that down to 50 and now we can see exactly where the old window was and we just match up the old one with the new one and we don't even have to distort this one it looks pretty good as it is so let's go ahead and bring that back up to 100 now we can take those both halves right here and we can right click up here and merge it down so all we got is just one single window now we're going to use the clone stamp tool to fix this edge up here so i'll come down here hit the layer to make another blank layer and it's underneath the window so whatever we do will go underneath let's take the clone stamp tool and what we want to clone stamp is this area of this what white wood over here in front of his head so i'm going to take the size of the stamp and make that really big like 150 point and it's a still a soft brush i'll hold the alt down and i'm going to start right over here now it's you're going to see that it's going to grab some of her head and it's okay because we can erase that later because it's on its own layer so i'll hold the alt down and click right here and i'll bring that over right around here and i'm just going to simply paint all the way across. Now you see how I grabbed a little bit of his head and her head. All we got to do is grab the eraser and get rid of that little portion. Get rid of this little portion. And now we got a lot of that covered. Now let's do that again with the clone stamp tool. A little bit higher, but I'm going to make this one smaller, like 100 points, so that we don't have to worry about this portion. And I'll hold the alt down and grab that right around there. And I'll simply come across like that. So we want yet another layer. Let's put it on top of this one. I'll hit layer and then grab the clone stamp tool again and grab this right around here and come down here and simply paint that right in. Once again, grab this again, bring it back down further, paint that right in. You can keep on grabbing from up here and keep painting to paint all that out. Now, once we get over to this corner here, we want to extend the roof line up here where this meets that portion there. What we can do is, once again, create another layer and the clone stamp tool yet once again. I'm going to grab this down here, Alt, left click, and just come straight across like that. And it's okay that we got a little extra because we can cut it off with the eraser. Boom, and that cuts it right off. Now we want the vertical, and we'll do the same thing with the clone stamp tool, and simply place that from there to there. Boom, and then we can carefully, with a small eraser, like a 15 point eraser, get rid of this portion here that we just did. So at a certain point, I'd like to marry some of that barn together. So I'm going to grab everything underneath the window. That's from there to here. I'll right click and I'll choose merge. And that merges that whole portion together. Then we'll come back down and continue doing this. Really big. Grab it right around there. Come over here and just come straight across. Once we get to open space, it gets a lot easier to put together. Come down here. Then we take the clone stamp tool yet once again and create a new layer. Always create new layers when you're using the clone stamp tool so that you can go back and erase the portions that you don't want. And I don't have to like drag it across. I can keep copying little portions and just click it once. Now down here, I can actually go even bigger. And that's pretty much all there is to it. What we're left with is the original barn and somebody's missing. But that's what the poster wanted. This is Rich calling it quits for this tutorial saying over and out.